Hi, I'm Joel Mulkey, founder and CEO of Big Leaf Networks. You may be wondering what happened with the CenturyLink level three outage that happened yesterday on Sunday. Uh, we definitely saw that going on. We own and operate our own backbone network and had a lot of visibility and were able to respond to that. I'll talk you through a little bit of that now. So we had a, a couple of responses to that. One that was automated. So our SD-WAN software that is managing traffic constantly 10 times a second detected that and responded by rerouting customer traffic wherever possible keeping folks up and running, which is great. Uh, we also had a manual response. We have a skilled network engineering and operations team who was alerted and went and dug in and found some optimizations they could make in how traffic was flowing. And through that, we saw some different customer experiences. So the nature of this issue that CenturyLink Level 3 had, it was actually the Level 3 network, which is now owned by CenturyLink, but not fully incorporated. They had uh, this BGP issue. BGP is the routing protocol that runs the internet. And you can think of it uh, as kind of, this is considered a black hole sort of an issue where uh, like a, an on-ramp on a freeway, if, if Waze is sending all the traffic to that on-ramp, but there's actually an accident, this was a similar sort of scenario where CenturyLink was saying, hey, get to all these networks through me, yet their network wasn't functioning right. And so it was, it was a very difficult time for network operators, kind of unprecedented with CenturyLink even telling other big carriers, hey, shut off your connections to us. Uh, which was a, a pretty substantial move, disconnecting one of the world's biggest networks from the internet. But uh, they had about a four hour outage from 4 a.m. Pacific time till about 8 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, we were able to respond to that. And so our customers, they saw an experience where if they had multiple WAN circuits, maybe they had AT&T and something else, generally they stayed up and running. Although because of that black holing, not exclusively, some customers had outages because their traffic was flowing through CenturyLink and, and CenturyLink was just dropping it. Uh, and then con on the content side, if you were trying to reach content that was hosted by CenturyLink, even as one of the paths to that content, you may have not been able to reach it. So it was it was quite the dramatic moment. Um, thankfully, most of our customers stayed up and running and, and were happy. Um, if you only had one WAN circuit with CenturyLink, obviously you were down. Um, in that case, you know, I, I certainly do recommend take a look at diverse WAN connections. Take a look at Big Leaf as an intelligent SD-WAN platform that can automatically mitigate these kinds of issues. And let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to share more about this, what we saw, and how our platform can help. Thanks.